So I recently sold a $1,500 Gohead Level website to a Metspa. And what I'm talking about here is not those terrible templates from the Gohead Level website library. Because let's be honest, like no business actually going to pay for that, let alone like $1,500. What I'm talking about here is this website that I actually built myself. Let me just show it to you. Okay, so in this video, I'm just gonna break down the deal, like what the client actually wanted for their website. I'm also gonna show you how I was able to deliver this website in four days. The last thing I'm gonna show you is how you can do this for your own Go High Level agency. So how can you sell and deploy websites to your clients? Whether it is you wanna add it as a new offer or an app, so whatever it is, I'm gonna show you how to build the actual websites in this video. Okay, so what this client actually wanted is they have a med spa, they have a boutique med spa, but their website is really outdated. So think about like a website like this, like this is not their actual website, of course, I can't show you their website, but this is kind of like, if you think about like a really bad website where there's tons of text, don't know where to look at, it's hard to navigate, maybe something like this, like really outdated, those kind of websites is what they were working with before. Now, this is a small med spa, and so they're still growing. They only have like two employees. And so they wanted to do something quick, easy, and not too expensive. And so I wanted to make sure that I could deliver this within their budget. And so how I did this in Go High Level is I have my master website templates that I've built out that are ready to go. And so we have different niches. And the one I used for this website is this one right here which is the one that you're looking at the salon slash spa website so we have four pages very simple very easy home services about us in book now and what the template looks like is this right here so super clean ready to go and let's say it was a med spa as opposed to a hair salon then i'll just change the text right here change the copy but essentially the website is ready to go now if i go to services i can just show you this very quickly we have our services right here now let's say it's not a salon so they're not doing hair coloring that stuff like i'll just change the copy to say like massage therapy change the photo very quickly but essentially the website is built out and the key here is that we never use those go ahead level templates because they look terrible the key here is we put in a lot of work up front and we build these nine website templates that are ready to go and we took a lot of effort and make them really good high-end high converting easy to navigate that kind of stuff so we never have to build from scratch but so that we don't have to use those terrible templates from the go ahead level template library now this took me about a day or so because i already had their info what services they offer some of their photos from their salon and I just finished the website in about a day or so, like a day and a half, and I sent it over to my client. From this point, what we do is we get revisions. So let's say the client's looking at the website, and they're like, you know what, let's change this photo for something else. Let's change this text right here. Any minor changes they have at that point will make those revisions, and that usually takes about a day or two. So you might be wondering, how can I sell this to clients with my GoHello agency if I don't have my own master templates? So I'm gonna show you how I built this website in GoHello. Now, if you don't wanna build your websites from scratch, and you just want to steal my nine templates that I've already built that took me months to build, just click the first link in bio. But if not, let me just show you how I built some of this website in Go Ahead Level. Okay, so the first section I'm going to show you how to build is the hero section. So this right here, and this is kind of what it looks like on the preview. And I'm going to show you just step by step. So I'm going to create a new section. I'm going to show you step by step. It's going to be a full width. And what we're going to do is add this photo as the background. So instead of having like a background color, I'm just going to add an image right here. There we go. And as default, you get full center parallax, but we're just gonna do full center just to keep it in the middle. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is add a divider because we wanna have that distance between the text and the first button and the main header. To add a divider, I'm just gonna add a new column. It's gonna be right here. And this is just gonna be this one right here, a divider. And we're gonna make this transparent because I don't want people to see the divider, but I'm also gonna add some padding so it's way bigger. So I think for this one, what we're gonna do is just do like maybe 200 top, 200 bottom. There we go. So now it kind of looks more like this. And the next thing I'm going to do is just add a headline. So for this one, we're just going to do a headline and I'm going to add the text. Let's just say it was this one right here. But the thing is, this is too small. So I'm just going to make it bigger. Let's just say like maybe 60. And the next thing I'm going to do is change the color. And I'm also going to do left alignment because we want to have this on the left side of the photo. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is add a sub headline, just like this one. Same thing as the text. I'm just going to click here, sub headline. I'm just going to add the text. And this is also going to be white. There we go and i'm also going to do left hand alignment for the text right there and the next thing i'm going to build is this button right here so how do we build this button so it looks like that so i'm just going to go here and we're going to start with just a normal button now the first thing i'm going to do is click on the sub headline and i'm going to add a bit of margin just because i don't want these two elements too close to each other so the text and the button are too close to each other so i want to give them a bit of space in between now the next thing i'm going to do is just change the text so instead of click here to sign up what i'm going to do is just let's just 
just say services. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is make this longer. So see how this button right here has more space between the services and the edge of the button. I'm gonna do the same right here. To do this, I'm gonna click on it. Where's this margin panning? We're gonna do like maybe 40 on each side. And that's just gonna make that button longer. Now for my buttons, I did make them quite slim for this website. I wanted to keep it minimalist, that kind of look for a med spa. So as you can see, like the buttons are pretty slim. So what I'm gonna do here is do the same thing. Where instead of doing like 15, I'm just gonna make them smaller. So I'm gonna do maybe 10. Now the button's slimmer. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is just remove the background and the next thing i'm going to do is go to advanced and we're going to add the border so i'm going to do full border i'm just going to do this color right here and i'm just going to add a radius so that it has those rounded corners just like that and as you can see it looks pretty similar to this one right here and what i'm going to do is just do the alignment again to the left hand side so it matches this right here now the next thing you'll notice is there's a subtle animation with this button when you hover it goes up i'm going to do the same thing how you can do this is click on it go to animations scroll all the way down to hover animation and do elevate that's it so now you can see it right there so as you can see this section is looking pretty close to this one right here but you'll notice the text and everything is kind of closer to the edge it gives you like that very modern look so how i did this and go ahead level just click on the section and allow the road to take the entire width there we go so once you do that, you'll notice that it goes all the way to the edge of the website. Now to fix it where we have a bit of margin on the side, what you can do is just click on the blue section right here and just make it smaller. So the width, we could just do like maybe 90 right there. So now you can see we have similar border as the top section right there. This section is looking pretty much the same as the top one. That's how we build that hero section right here. Okay, so the next section I'll show you how I built is the services. So color, cutting, treatments. I'm gonna show you how I built this and how you can do this for your website. So what this looks like in Go Ahead Level is we have a two section side by side and we have text on this side and a photo and kind of like a headline on this side. Let me build one from scratch so you can see kind of what that looks like. So I'm gonna do full width, I'm gonna do two columns side by side and I'm gonna allow the rows to take the entire width, kind of what we did with the hero as well. And what I'm gonna do is just make this 90% at the column row so they have that bit of margin on the side. Next thing I'm gonna do is add a sub headline on this side and we're gonna make this bolded and I'm gonna do this aligned to the left hand side as well. I'm gonna make it slightly bigger as well let's say like 40 and i'm gonna do color i'm gonna change the color very quickly of the text and i'm gonna add my photo right here now this photo is too big compared to this one so what i'm gonna do is make it smaller i'm gonna go here make it let's say like 500 i'm gonna align it to the left hand side as well next thing i'm gonna do is just add this faq right here and so what i'm gonna do is go here add a new element and we're gonna add an faq right here and so what this faq is gonna be is just this text right here so i can just copy paste this very quickly and in advance we're gonna change the colors so what i'm gonna do here is in color options we're gonna start playing around with the color so that it looks more like this so title background open and close i'm gonna do transparent because we wanted to match the background of the website there we go next thing i'm gonna do is change the color so it matches instead of being black i'm gonna do this as a light blue kind of the blue that we have going on color options what i'm gonna do is the content it's going to be this one right here. And then the separation line, we're going to do the same color as well. So it matches this right here. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is add this sub headline right here. An easy way to do this is just cloning this and dragging and sliding it down here. Now, this is too big, so I'll just make it smaller. Let's say 30. And then I'll just change this to pricing. The next thing I want to do is just add this quick text right here for the pricing. This is just a paragraph. So I'll just go here, add a new paragraph, and this is just going to be the pricing. And what I'm going to do to get this arrow is just add an icon. So when I click on it, you'll notice there's an icon button. So just click here and do arrow. And you can just use any of these. Let's just say I picked this one. I'm just going to change the color again. So I'm matches the website i'm gonna do this one right here and then we're gonna match the icon color as well so it makes sense and that right there is how i did this right here and then the easiest thing you can do from there is just clone it and clone it three times and then you have your pricing ready to go now i do want to give some padding in between so click on it add some margin we could just do like 20 for all of these and then it's just gonna look better the last thing is adding the button as you know we've already created a button in the previous hero section so i'm not gonna show you how to do it but if you have it ready what you could do is just clone the button and slide and drop it right where it goes right there that's exactly how we built this section you can see it looks pretty much the same i can tweak around with the size of the font that kind of stuff but you get the idea that's literally how we built this section 
sections next thing you do is just clone this section and just change this font for the services change the photos and then you would have all your services back to back kind of like how we have it right here but there it is that's how i built those two sections for that website in go ahead level and if you're a go ahead level agency and you want to add this to your current offer you want to upsell a website you want to start sending websites to your clients then you can actually just take all of my templates that took me months to build and you can start selling them to your own clients just click the first link in bio